So, where to begin? Um, I actually discovered new products and also rediscovered some products for this month, which is this is June, but I'm not quite sure when I'm gonna upload it because I have a very very slow Wi-Fi. Live in a third world country, yeah. So, um, yeah. So I guess I'm gonna start off with nail polishes. So I'm actually liking two colors from the same brand, and it's called Oh My God. Or it's, it's not Oh My God. It stands for Oh My Girl. It's O M G. And the first one is Cloud, which is a beautiful periwinkle color. And I've been loving this polish a lot. And I've been wearing this mainly for like two months, except for today, because I have another polish that I've been loving. But, whoops. But really, really love this one. And then the other one is Sunset, which is basically the one I have on my nails. And it's, it's like an orangey coral polish. And, um, yeah, I thought it would be more of like a red orange, but I like that it's actually more of like a corally orange. And I'm pretty sure it looks more of like a reddish orange or almost like a red on camera, but it's really, really pretty. So I've been enjoying that one. And then for um, body wise, I've been loving the Bath and Body Works Ultra Shea Body Cream, and it's the Japanese. Japanese. <laughs> so this is the Japanese Cherry Blossom. And I've loved the Japanese cherry blossom scent ever since I was a kid. But I don't know if it's just me, but this one smells a little bit more florally. And usually I don't like florally scents. I like kind of more of like musky, fresh scents. Yeah. So, but this one I just love it because I have really dry legs, especially my legs. And I basically have a dry body. And I just love rich, moisturizing. Um, body creams or like body butters or lotions so this one has been a life savior and the scent you know lasts until like the next day like when you wake up and then sometimes it transfers to my bed sheets or like my or like like uh blankets so it's a good thing and it's just a bad thing because we don't have bath and body works here in the philippines so that's very very sad and i've been loving two skincare items and the first one is the himalaya herbals nourishing skin cream and I've used this up like there's nothing in it I actually have a new one but it's actually my toiletries bag because I just got home and um, I was I, I went to my parents house because I actually live in a kind of like a condo dorm near my college so I just went home this weekend but I just love this one this one is actually a multi-purpose product so you can use it on your face as well as on your body and it's with aloe and winter cherry and I mainly use it on my face though, and my face loves this stuff. And I like aloe because it's really good at calming, you know, irritated skin. It's good for sensitive skin as well. And I, I don't know, even though this is actually a really cream cream, but it's not like a heavy cream. It almost has a satin or like a semi-matte finish type of formula. But I wouldn't really recommend this if you have oily skin and you want to use it as a moisturizer underneath your makeup because it will kind of end up being a grease ball, but you can use it like at night time. It's really moisturizing and I love it. Then the other thing I've been loving is this one. This is the Human Nature or Human Heart Nature. I don't know. I've been corrected both times and know how to pronounce it, but it's the Toxifying Mask Plus Scrub. And this is actually the second one I tried, uh, this type of thing. And this is just perfect, especially if you're a lazy girl and you're in college and you sleep late or like you just want to pamper yourself but then you're so tired this is like the perfect thing I mean you still need to scrub your I mean like exfoliate your skin to get rid of dead skin cells maybe like twice a week and this is just good because it's like a mask and scrub and it smells like like uh, blueberry candies because it's like blueberries I don't know how blueberries blueberry candy smell like but it smells like that and I just love it because it's actually it's not a super gentle scrub like you can it really scrubs your skin but not that aggressive so I don't know it's kind of like in the middle but like when you rinse it off your face just feels like a baby's bottom and my skin just looks glowing for some strange reason and I just love this stuff so I highly suggest you guys try this one it's really really good now moving on to makeup and I just realized the rest of my products are mainly lip products I'm a lip I'm a lip junkie 
But the first one is a cult favorite here on YouTube for like years and years, but it's just this year that I tried it. Like seriously, like Jan 1, 2015 that I tried this product. And it's the Maybelline The Falsies. Okay, anyway, so this is the Maybelline The Falsies, and I was reading reviews on this. The Asian version is actually different from the US version. I don't know if that's just me, but they say it's different. Like the US version is a lot more dramatic, and but with this one, I really, really love this. Um, the reason why I never tried this was because of the Volume Express, and I don't like volumizing mascaras because my eyelashes are actually thick already that if I use a volumizing mascara, they just kind of look clumpy together. So I like lengthening mascaras better. So this one kind of offers both, but I just love it. It's actually the one I have on today, if you guys can see it. It's really, really pretty. And yeah, and refocus. So um, yeah, been really, really liking this one. But actually, I don't like this when you first get it. Seriously, someone just threw like pieces of paper on my veranda. Yo, man, what is that? Anyways, um, yeah, I don't like this like when you first get it because it's actually a little bit too watery for my liking. I want my mascara not too dry, not too wet, kind of in the middle type of thing. And when this one ages or like, you know, after a month, I like the formula a lot better because it fans out my lashes a lot better. So. Yeah, got that one. Then sticking to kind of like the eye area. Hold on, it's really, really hot. Sticking to the eye area, you know. So this one is the BYS Brow Gel. And I'm pretty sure you'll hear the train because the train is fast by. But um, it's the BYS Brow Gel. And this is the lightest one they have, which is a blonde best friend and I just love this. It's actually the one I'm wearing on my brows today and I just love it. And you know I've always been curious with trying like brow stuff but I just can't spend over $20 for it because I'm a college student and I save for more important things. Plus, an art, plus I'm an art student so I pretty much all of my savings go to art materials and other stuff but mainly school stuff so this was just heaven sent because I think this was like 399 pesos and it's really nice and it had comes with a brush and at first I don't really like these type of brushes but this one actually works really well with this one so it's a, a very like vague swatch of it but it's just awesome and it stays on the entire day it won't fade it won't smudge and it is awesome so I highly suggest you guys try this one. It's it's in Watson's and SM. Pretty much in every SM I went to, there was a BYS. I'm not quite sure if like, it has in yours. But if you come across BYS counters, try the brow gel. As I said, like the rest of my products are lip products. So the first one is this one. This is the Maybelline. So, so as I said, the rest of my products are mainly lip products because I discovered, rediscovered and discovered new lip products this month. So the first one is the Maybelline Baby Lips Electro Pop. I didn't really like the first Maybe, uh, Baby Lips. It came here in the Philippines. I just, it, I don't know, it didn't feel as moisturizing. I felt like I was just dragging something slippery at the same time, kind of sticky, and I don't like the taste of it when I like accidentally lick my lips. So this one I actually really like. This one's in pink shock and it's almost like a ne uh, kind of like a sheer neon lipstick. And it's super moisturizing. Like you can see that. It's very pigmented. So you can actually leave the house with just this one on and I love it. Then the next thing is our actually a rediscovery and it's the Revlon Just Bitten Balm Stains. Basically the very very first um, Kissable Balm Stains from Revlon, not the matte ones, or is it satin or glossy? I don't know. So these two, and the first one is Honey, and basically the thing is rubbed off. And it's basically like a nice mauve natural color. I'm gonna swatch it here. And I just love these. They're 
really moisturizing and it provides good enough color. I mean, it's not like first wipe, it's, you know, opaque, but it's buildable, but I, I just like moisturizing the products. Then this one is Love Second. I recently just started wearing this one again. It's basically like a, a berry fuchsia pink color. It looks really, really bright on camera, but it's actually not as bright once you have it on your lips. And the thing that I love about these are moisturizing and they stain your lips. They actually stain the same color. Like this one is like a light pink and this one's just a sort of darker pink. I just wish they stain their actual color. I mean, I don't have problems with this because it's like a pink. I really love the mauve color of this one, but just mainly the Revlon just with the bomb stains. I love them. And the other thing I discovered this month is the NARS Semi Matte Lipstick, and I love the packaging, but just with NARS packaging, it kind of attracts and the, the recording stopped. So I, the other favorite is the NARS Semi Matte Lipstick, and um, I just love the packaging of NARS and NARS lipsticks are like my new drug. Like I want more colors from them. And this one is in the shade Shiap. I don't I don't know why Shiap, but yeah. It's basically like a bubblegum pink color with uh, like a very muted purple undertones. Actually the one I'm wearing on my lips. Like compare it to to Love Sick. It's actually a lot more bright. Yeah, so that one and I just love this. This one is not completely transfer proof like it still transfers But I just love it. Then the last lip product and makeup favorite would be the Shawo Green Lover Lasting Color Lipsticks. I've been into red orange lately The nails and I just love this. This one's really moisturizing super opaque in color and just moisturizing, opaque, and long-lasting. You got me right there. And I just, I don't know. I I recently just started using blood orange or red orange lipsticks. I was always intimidated by them. And just feel like it won't work well with my skin tone. But it actually works really, really well. So I've been enjoying red orange lately. So that's it for like makeup. Favorite. Basically, we've reached the end of this video. And... Um, I hope you guys like it. Sorry for the sweaty face, sweaty hair, and sweaty everything because it's really, really hot here in the Philippines even though it's like 5.30, which is really, really weird. But um, yeah, I hope you guys like this. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to see some videos from moi and if you like weird, awkward videos because I'm pretty awkward. I like to call myself awkward. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye!